you rather be David Dobrik's second wife or my Quick Paris Hilton house tour. <laughs> the holographic I ate. I know that I shouldn't care. Good morning vlog, as you guys know. I've been vlogging my days for the past few days because frankly I have no time to make any other kind of video and my life is just like so interesting, so. so. <laughs> all of a sudden he was like getting real comfy and I'm like, No, I, I needed to be get afraid. down, I was too high up. Right. I was too high up. It's like 5 a.m. You give him one reality feature. Guys, my eye is super swollen today. This We're thing coming. has been happening to me. <laughs> This thing's been happening to me where when I stress out, my eyes super swells. I don't know, it's a really great thing that's happening. Tana, you're so lucky. Like, you must be so lucky to have fame and fortune and a nice house. And, but here's this disease where your eye swells every time you stress out, even though the stress you just currently had was about your eye. Like, it sounds like a lie, but like, it actually is happening. It does sound like a lie, but also look at me. I look like someone socked me in the eye. The reason I'm vlogging today is because Jordan, Jenna, and I are headed to do press for season two of my reality show, MTV No Filter, Tana Mojo. And I really wasn't gonna vlog it, but then I found out on Twitter, Jordan, I know, not your fault, that I was doing the BuzzFeed puppy thing today, which I also think my eye might be swelling due to a new developed Yo, allergy to do dogs. This? And it's Jenna's birthday! Yay! It's Jenna's fucking birthday! We're having a We Are Verified birthday today. <laughs> we were born today. Jenna is throwing a birthday party tonight. It's also Nikita's birthday tonight. I just feel like yeah, today bro. is very... Today is insane. Today is a good yeah. vlog. Every day is a good vlog. It's every day, bro. <laughs> Unfortunately, me and my swollen eye did just pull up to Viacom. Oh my god, my ring. We have a coffee. I love being oh a reality star. Sitting with MTV getting my pre-interview prep. I'm at a morning news, like live thing. <laughs> live television scares me. Morning news scares me. I guess we'll stay tuned. I guess if she embarrasses herself on live television, she has great YouTube conduct, so. <laughs> I can't wait to put this in, like just to make fun of him. Jordan, nothing focused. I get like. <laughs> It's just a blur, huh? It's just a complete blur. <laughs> it is completely in focus, and I think the audience is gonna love this clip. No, How do you turn it off? Give it back to me. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Hi guys, so I just remembered that I can't swear on live television, so I'm really, really fucking yeah, no terrified. Fuck, fuck, shit, bitch, fuck. <laughs> okay, hi, businesswoman. Okay, here's some statistics. 5.2 million subscribers on YouTube. I was among the one and a half million people who just watched your trip to Miami, oh my God, which seemed like a lot of fun. That's such a crazy way to put it. Thank you for watching that. It was definitely a roller coaster. I bet. Nice How did all this happen? I have no idea. I think I wake up every day and that's the first question I ask myself. Okay, what's the next big thing for you business-wise? <laughs> Boring. Nice to see you this yeah. morning. Thank you Thanks so much for having, for having me. Okay, we finished morning news. The newscaster told me to stop smoking. Good advice. I didn't swear. I think I did it. I don't know where we're going now, but look at MTV's rich money with their waiting cars outside for all of us. They gave me the big body. <laughs> we can hear you fine. I'm with Tana now. Just finished the interview. Just gotta do some more. Hi guys, how are you? Great, how are you? Thank you so much for doing this. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's Jenna's birthday. Wow. Yeah. wow, sprinkles too, that MTV money. <laughs> like that ain't no cheap cupcake. This was like 80 bucks. Aww. So Jean. We just pulled up to entertainment tonight. Technically CBS, but it's so pretty in here. Every time I'm in this building, I just feel like I should not fucking be here. Like, you don't care. I'm in entertainment tonight. Yet another place I thought I would never set foot in unless I was trespassing. I've done entertainment tonight a lot. I feel like I live here at this point. It's so cute. Harvey Weinstein on the TV, like, ew. And joining us now, you guys, is the woman herself, Hi. Tana Mojo! <laughs> and what I loved about this trailer is that you said that things get messy. How messy does it get season two? It's like scary messy. Like, really? I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous, for sure. I think, I everything, think I everything I do online, online is about like telling my story, story. And, and not all, and not of, it's all of it's pretty. And like, I have been saying this all day, but I never want anything to be like a highlight reel type of thing. You know what I mean? It's so important, I feel like, for you guys to have that platform to not only just show the fun stuff, the trips to Miami and this and that, but to have that platform to talk about mental health issues and whatnot. I mean, you guys are changing the game, I feel like, in this sphere. And I feel like I really learned that. 2019.
What message do you have for young people out there who are struggling with anything really, but especially mental health, especially these days with social media? What message mm -hmm. do you have for them? Talk to people, talk to, talk to, talk to someone, be vocal about it. Like, I think the first step is always like self-awareness. Yeah. Want to help yourself because as much as people want to help you, if you don't you know, want that from within, it's a lot harder. So I think just reaching out in any way that you can and wanting to better yourself. And it's a battle, it's an everyday battle. Right. It's going to be some days where it's so easy and some days where you can't even get out of bed, you know? The words of wisdom. Thank Seriously, you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Okay. You don't even need an introduction. You know who she is. Okay, stop it. Yo, E! News The Rundown is so lit. I feel so official, blow the whistle to be here, so thank you. What was it like dating Lil Dan? <laughs> e! News The Rundown is so funny. Honestly, very fun. I think I was at a time in my life where I wanted like a fun rapper relationship vibe. He so was always doing for shows. Zan for the r fun rapper yeah, relationship. I know, now I, I definitely would go more, <laughs> more A-list. I'm just kidding. Um, no, you're not. This okay, is this. Would You Rather No Filter Edition. Okay, love that. Love the it. branding. Would you rather have to pay for Brad's dinner every night for a year? I did that. <laughs> Again. <laughs> or be in a throuple with Jake and Julia Rose. Oh my god, Brad. Brad, you're eating so good. <laughs> Would you rather never be photographed again or have Kylie Jenner publicly slander you? Never be photographed again <laughs> with ease. Would you rather be David Dobrik's second wife or marry Jake Paul again? Oh, I would slay the second wife role, though. I don't know. I mean, I love Jake, though. It's very different. That's hard. Yeah, that's be single. Oh, shit. She's like, bitch, pick. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the David one. That would be a fun something new. Great. Something borrowed, something blue. You are wild. I'm obsessed with you. I love you. I didn't know we were going to get on this well. Like, we slayed. I think we should really just go out and take on the world. Dude, yes, I'm moving into E! News The Rundown. And she's in. What's up, guys? I just finished E! News The Rundown, which was so funny. They were getting bunky with their questions. But now, I'm pulling up to BuzzFeed. And BuzzFeed is actually the reason why I decided I wanted to vlog today. I really wasn't going to. But when I found out that I am doing the puppy thing on BuzzFeed, you know what I'm talking about, and the thirst tweets thing, I freaked out, because I think that is two things that only mainstream celebrities really get to do. So they're doing a little charity work today. Like, Kylie Jenner did this with, like, Jordan Woods. Like, I should not be doing this. They put hot Cheetos in my dressing room. Oh it's Jenna's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're going to the puppies. I can't believe this is a day in my life. I'm I so excited. Feel bad. Like I feel like they're gonna like my puppy's gonna be jealous. <laughs> Dude, you already stole one of my dogs. Can these like at least be mine? Oh my god, they're so fucking cute. They're so cute. Oh my god, wait. I'm Santa Mojo and I'm here at BuzzFeed today promoting my MTV No Filter show. Season two every every four on MTV's YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna be playing with puppies and answering fan questions. <laughs> How did they do? Oh my god, I'm pregnant. Oh my god, she's slim thick compared to her. A lot come to mind. There are ones that hold really special places in my heart, even like my wedding. Boring! But at the same time, like, there's ones like when Billie Eilish unfollowed me, like turning something like that into just like something lighthearted and funny was a fun experience for me. They all definitely hold like different places in my heart. <laughs> Crying. <laughs> Working a job that I hated watching YouTube in all of my time, I definitely know. Oh. <laughs> Anything. Either Shane or Paris has ever said to me, I feel like both of them really root a lot of their advice around authenticity. And I think in moments of my career, pop off queen. In moments of my career where I definitely needed people to remind me to stay on the path of being nothing but myself, I think that those are two people I always really look to, so. I mean, there was, a, for a while, there were forums for like months that were like all of these people conspiracizing, I think that's how you say that word, that I was secretly 40 and hiding it and all of this like proof as to like how I'm secretly 40 and it was kind of believable. Like if it wasn't me, I would probably believe the conspiracy theory. These adorable puppies were provided by Vanderpump Dogs. So for more information on that and all of the adoption and stuff like that. All right. All right. Do I have to give them back? <gasps> okay guys, I'm gonna go read Thirsty Tweets. You can check that one out on BuzzFeed. Maybe I'll include something if I'm like funny. If I had Tana Mosher's boobs, I'd be unstoppable, LMAO. I am unstoppable. No, I'm kidding. Um, they help, so thank you. I want to have a threesome with Tana Mojo, but it's just her, a blunt, and me. <laughs> it's probably my ideal threesome, I'm not gonna lie. Would pay any amount of money for Tana Mosher to spit in my face and call me an ugly f It would be my honor. A, every meet and greet I do ever is this tweet. 
Thanks for having me, BuzzFeed. <laughs> Hi, vlog. I just finished today's press run. Ending the day with BuzzFeed was so lit. That is something that I've like watched a million times. So I always watch things like that in my head, like, damn, I would love to do this, but I'll never get to. So it was so fun. How does it feel to be like on the level of Joe Jonas? Nick. <laughs> Nick. He's even more famous. Wait, are they just there? <laughs> What? Those are two different people. I'm just fucking like around. you're I'm so fucking around. Annoying. Dude, he came to my birthday party. No, Joe did. Every time uh, I'm like, I fuck. love Nick Jonas. Jordan's like, he was at my birthday How party. How did we watch football together when I first moved out here? Well, <laughs> happy birthday, Jenna. <laughs> so now I'm gonna do some boring YouTuber shit for the next few hours. But later tonight is obviously Gina's birthday, so I'll probably come back to you guys later. I just found out like an hour ago that I'm gonna be shooting a YouTube video with Paris Hilton tomorrow. I'm like over the moon. Okay, guys, I'll see you later. Wait, I'm a daily vlogger now. Bye. See, I think I look good. I really think I'm thriving. I really think, you know, single tan is doing the damn thing. And then I remember that it looks like I got punched in the face. So I'm gonna try to vlog the chaos that ensues at Jenna's. And then if this vlog is a piece of shit by the end of the day, I'll probably just carry it into tomorrow where I know it won't be a piece of shit because Paris Hilton is doing charity work by filming content with me. I just got on my tippy toes so my boobs could be in the shot. My bralette is Dolls Kill, my jeans are White Fox, and my jacket is Steel by Amanda Steel. I've really been changing my style a lot lately. Obviously, you guys saw me in a fucking blazer today, and now I'm in, like, jeans and a leather jacket. I just feel more modest. I feel like ho, like, streetwear Tana, like, lived her life. I'll see you guys at Jenna's birthday. Lila brought a bottle to the bar. Babe, I'm bringing my own fucking shit because I personally am not paying for it. Try and sign my card. Try and take my bottle. As of, like, a Drake song play, it's like, me and my friends, we got money to spend. She's like... <laughs> I'm like, my sugar daddy's got money to spend. Shut up, Lila. <laughs> Wait, guys, I got jaw filler and chin filler yesterday. I love a good guys. <laughs> happy birthday! I'm gonna leave you alone now. That's the last time I'm saying happy birthday. So you get bitches now, or what's up? Yeah, this is the first. I am very happy. Okay, so. Ladies and genitals, remember to drink water in between drinks. Safe drinking is healthy drinking. <laughs> In the bathroom and Hannah comes up to me and she goes, Should I just like go make out with Jordan? I go, babe, I think he's gonna come and stand. <laughs> <laughs> so uncomfortable and how many hot ass bitches want to fuck Jordan? <laughs> What's crazy about this? This is not a bit. I'm filming her because she's fucking delusional. I'm done, okay? I am so scared. I think I'm done vlogging. This is Sierra, guys. And she wants to fuck Jordan too! Every single girl I've gone up to tonight has told me that they want to have sex with Jordan. I'm never giving him clout ever again. I'm so scared. Fuck Dan, I fucking hear her. Fuck it. Mm. Oh my, I have so much to say. I don't want to get canceled. You kind of act like you want to fuck me when you do it. No, 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 no. You're no, like, no. Mm. this is not what we pay for, bro. Any class? Are you, are you okay? Is that what is this? Is that right. me? Is, is that the scandal? Oh, is this Hannah? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I didn't know this is Hannah doing this. I literally thought, I thought you were some like crazy man, like being like, ah, uh, yeah, they. The next day. Hi. Today, I am going. Oh shit, can you turn it off for one second? Sorry. You do nothing but complicate my life, Jordan. Just because you have eye drops in doesn't mean you're not acting high as fuck. <laughs> Today, Jordan and I are headed to one of Paris Hilton's houses. I'm shooting something with her for my show. I'm sure the majority of you can guess what the topic is. Her Paris actually ended up wanting to shoot something for her YouTube channel as well. Paris has been doing stuff on YouTube, which that within itself I think is so crazy. Like Paris Hilton fucking makes YouTube videos. Like I never thought I would have anything in common with her. That's very weird. And it's also just like the future. I look very cute. Not to suck my own dick, but I'm feeling so colorful lately. Maybe it's because I don't want to die. <laughs> hey, if I started to clothing line and put that call could have been a text on a t-shirt <laughs> do you think that would sell okay yeah paris hilton the holographic i ate as the gate opens is a mood we stopped shooting for 38 seconds paris has a coffee a videographer and a full <laughs> Killing it. Also this. <laughs> also just this. Just like the coffee table decor that Paris set up for me today. Paris' house is such a vibe. We're about to start filming. She did this all in two days. Like, huh? Quick Paris Hilton house tour. Like, huh? I've been here for a house party, like blackout drunk at night, and I never realized how like cute of a house it was in the daytime. But like, huh? Like every corner is so interesting. Also this. 
I really aspire to take my narcissism to this level in my house, like, huh? It's living. <laughs> Are you uncomfortable? Um, Are you scared? How do you feel? Paris loves you. I feel, I felt uncomfortable until I remembered that we had a symbiotic bond and uh, everything's great. We're having a great time. Paris just convinced me not to fire you for like 30 minutes. I know. Honestly, it was a tough conversation to hear. <laughs> I know. <laughs> me bringing Jordan to Paris Hilton's house just to be like, so I want to fire my manager. What should I do? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't want to fire you. Well, Tana, that's great to hear because I don't want to fire you either. Aww. <laughs> Hi, it's living our best lives. Living with my sis. <laughs> Look at us matching perfectly too. The snakeskin unintentional moment. We really both did the damn thing. Guys, we just filmed a Q&A for Paris's YouTube channel. Go watch it, it's so good. We got like a little deep, we got a little business. Shout out my mentor. Shout out Diamond Baby. Shout out the Paris Hilton push-up bra. No. <laughs> Go check out our Q&A. Yes. And we love you. We love you.